Hey guys, let me show you how to make the new volumetric ray effect. Okay, to show you this effect, I've prepared three clips for you guys. To see the new effects, just go to Window Extensions and click on the new Film Impact Dashboard. You'll see them now in a new panel and you can already check how they look. Let's jump to Light Leaks and Blurs and apply the volumetric ray effect to your clip. Make sure your clip is highlighted. In the effect controls, you can adjust the intensity of the sun rays. You'll notice they appear on the brightest parts of your image. What's nice is that you can also play around with the length of the rays. Let's try to make the rays look more natural. First, choose the side where the rays should come from. If you highlight the position option, you can use the circle in your video preview to adjust the direction. Since these rays are way too strong, bring down the intensity. It already looks much better and more natural. What's nice is that you can also adjust the softness to make it look even smoother. Let's check it now. You see? Way better. You can also change the color of the rays by clicking the color picker and choosing a color from your clip. In this example, we can pick a leaf from the tree to match the color. Bring up the intensity of the color by increasing the colorize setting. I already like the result we've got here. You can also experiment with the blend mode and desaturate settings to make the color a bit more matte. And finally, you can adjust the chromatic aberration to add that nice little color effect to your rays. Just experience a bit with the settings. I am sure you will find a nice result on your clip. Let's see the before and after now. Let's jump to the next clip and once again, go to the Film Impact Dashboard. Highlight your clip and apply the volumetric ray effect to it. There's a cool new feature I want to show you. Just hit the Surprise Me button and Premiere will give you random settings. Keep pressing it until you find a look you like. Looks dope. You can still adjust some settings, like the position of the rays, and that's it. Way faster than before, right? By the way, if you don't like the look, hit Start Fresh to reset everything. All right, let's check out the last clip. Once again, go to the Film Impact Dashboard, highlight your clip, and apply this effect to it. In the effect controls, you can lower the intensity if the sunlight looks too strong just like in this video preview. Play with the highlights only and find a good position for the rays within the frame. In this example, we can position them on the little boy to make the shot look more cinematic. Lastly, play with the softness and that's it! If you have any questions about this effect, let me know and I'll help you out.